The indie music legend Morrissey has been cruelly and unfairly parodied by The Simpsons. What a shame it is that The Simpsons, once one of the greatest TV shows, has now submitted to woke tyranny. They've portrayed Morrissey as a hypocrite with no principles and, of course, as a racist. They've done this largely because of his vocal support for our party and, as the press keep repeating, for condemning halal meat as evil. Halal meat is evil. And it shows that Morrissey is, in fact, a man of principles who, as an animal lover, knows that halal is evil. It's cruel, it's horrible, it's wrong. And he's right to stand up and call it out for what it is. It'd be interesting to see The Simpsons discuss the realities of halal. It'd be interesting to see what Lisa Simpson thought about the realities of halal on stone slaughter, which kills animals while they are awake and conscious. They die in terror. Morrissey is right to call it evil. It's such a shame, isn't it, to see The Simpsons go down this road. We've recently had this ridiculous, absurd display of Hank Azaria, who plays Apu, apologising for comedy. This is the ultimate wokeness, and this is why Morrissey is being attacked in this way. He refuses to go along with woke tyranny like every almost every other celebrity on the planet has done and like the simpsons has done but this is how woke tyranny works if you won't go along with it they'll attack you and they'll call you inevitably a racist the press have been reporting on this and reporting on his support for our party they're calling us far right as they always do it doesn't matter that we completely reject that label they call us far right for a couple of reasons. One, because we object to the horrors that we have imported into Western society. Horrors like FGM, halal meat, child marriage, grooming gangs, outright misogyny and homophobia that we have imported. We object. So does Morrissey. It's not far right. As for immigration, between 70 and 80 percent, according to almost every poll, in this country want less immigration. Are they all far right? They're not far right. They just want to keep their country, their culture, their way of life. And they are tired, tired of being the least important people in their own lands. That's not far right either, because almost every person on this planet wants their country, wants to keep their way of life, their culture, their heritage, their identity protected. Nothing far right about it. The press is poison. It is consistent in its condemnation of people without even listening to their point of view, without even trying to understand why they believe what they do, why we believe what we do. We don't have any kind of fair hearing from the press, simply because we are against the woke tyranny and we won't go along with it. This is why we're attacked. That's why Morrissey was attacked. It's wrong, it's cruel, it's unfair and it's outright shoddy journalism and it's outright shoddiness from The Simpsons. Such a shame. But we're very proud to have Morrissey on our side. He is, as I say, a man of principles. We are a party of principles. And no matter how many of the lies the press tells, no matter how much they pillory us, we will continue to stand up and tell the truth. We will continue to stand up for Britain, its culture, its values, its heritage, no matter what the press have to say about it. We're proud of that and we're proud to have Morrissey on our side.